this motorcycle, it's brand new, mm -hmm. and we don't know whether it's going to start tomorrow morning in front of a lot of people and press. You're going to have a little bit of a hard time. You're going to be a little bit delayed for some reason, okay? <laughs> That's it, folks. That's the beginning. We're going to uh, make a couple of adjustments. It's a total disaster. You can't drive that, that bike more than 10 miles. The throttle sticks, the, those seat. I mean, it's not just the steering. We bit off more than we can chew with the time frame. And we're a laughing stock. I'm a laughing stock right now. I just thought of another possibility. We rent me a bike. This is a dock on what happened to all of us in this exhausting eight days which we crossed the country. And we're taking it across the country in order to promote it as well as shoot a documentary on the ride. The American Legion is with us. Two, three second intervals in between the bikes, please. The hopes and dreams of a lot of people are riding on this ride. American Wrench and Brian and I have the responsibility to see the company through our generation. And it's all on the line. Part of what we're doing across country is telling everybody about the American Legion and their scholarship fund. They uh, provide funds for the education of children whose uh, parent or parents have uh, been killed in battle. It's called The Ribbon, and it's two years in the making. Just such a privilege to see our country, and not only see it, but feel it and smell it. We have to solve the, solve the problem, which we're going to attempt to do so on the road. go to Spicy Mike's with Shatner, put the rivet in the spot. Everybody out of gas. Isn't everybody out of gas? Hit the trailer, it was a bang. Then I was sitting there and I saw the, the trailer we were towing just went right past me. <laughs> can't get any worse. What a mess. The American Legion, they, they want to help you to have an education. I mean, I just really want to go to a good college. Let's see what we can do. How you feeling? I feel like uh, overheated like everybody else. It's stressful it's to the point where we're exhausted yeah. uh, coming in. You know what? After seeing that young man today who lost his daddy, we can deal with it. Cole. He will be a recipient of the scholarship that we're talking about. There's a sensuality to the wind bare arms and face. It, it flutters the garment and it's really, it's really cool. Route 66, it's an iconic road in, in American history. I mean, it is what really kind of opened up the West. It's no longer a highway. It is a living, breathing time capsule. But there was a Native American trade route that followed this from the Zuni Pueblos, the Hopi, all the way to the coast of California. The this lovely gentleman, is going to say a Navajo prayer. Wherever you go, 
I'm gonna ask the Creator to watch over you. Vajana Hasle, Vajana Hasle, Vajana Hasle, Vajana Hasle. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's an honor. I think of the storm we just weathered. We've overcome a lot of challenges. Oh, it's just been this ridiculous series of accidents. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. You know, it became the whole way we handled this trip. You never told me that you knew the bike wasn't going to work. What do you feel? The overall mission for me was riding for veterans and their families. How many veterans have we got here? I never quite understood how America forgot about the, these people. If I can go out having done something for those kids, after all their fathers and mothers have done for this country, my life would have had meaning. I felt such a part of something, something bigger than myself. It's the biggest mainstreamist opportunity that a lot of us have had. It wasn't just a motorcycle ride, it was, it was so much more, it was life changing. I can't go on with this. We've come together as a family. I've had a rare experience, beyond anything I've ever done.